at 7.47. At this time, I would entertain a motion to seal the minutes of the executive session in the Rhode Island General Law 42-46-582 session pertaining to litigation of collective bargaining or work sessions pertaining to litigation of collective bargaining. Rockford Farm LLC versus Town of Smithfield, case number PC 2017-0962. Residences at Slatersville Mill versus Town of Smithfield, case number PC 2018-2240. And Rhode Island General Law 42-46-582. Any discussion or consideration related to the acquisition or lease of real property for public purposes? Or with the disposition of public health property where an advanced public information would be detrimental to the interests of the public. Phony property located at Plat 14, Lot 21, and Plat 18, Lots 10 and 11. And also note that one vote was taken in executive session. So moved, Mr. President. Motion by Mrs. Walensky. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. O'Hara. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Mrs. Badamale? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Ogier? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Um, at this time, I'd ask the council to waive the rules and move up for immediate consideration. Discussion by council board or other action on motor vehicle registrations, because um, Officer Conti is here. Over 
It's I, I have to go every day. Right. It, it is tedious to go there every oh, day and jot down every plate. Um, but I know that I do see a lot of out of state registrations at that location as well. But they're always coming and going. So I can't. I wasn't working during the third shift hours when they were conducting these checks. But it is possible that the vehicles that you're seeing aren't there during overnight. Maybe they're there during the day working on something. Maybe their workers on scene. I'm not sure. Um, okay, three times a day that I've been six in the morning, about eight o'clock in the afternoon. Summer about nine at night. And let me tell you, it's uh, just about the same. It's very close. During the that five people are at work, but you go six and you go the upper, and it's very close. Yeah, the initial pass through that you and I did, there were over a hundred vehicles. Yeah. And we broke them down by state uh, tax, by state uh, registration plates, uh, just for a total number. But uh, it all spent really good. If they're Massachusetts, <coughs> If they're Massachusetts place, they can be visited. That one night we did it, but, but I don't think we can go in there. That's probably the problem, right? I don't think we can be floating around from there. Is that correct? Uh, in, 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 in a private road? Uh, no. no, it's private road. Oh, I I there were a lot of Massachusetts uh, Massachusetts uh, registration plates that were there in the twenties. They just didn't uh, meet the thirty day uh, criteria. So we did have a, a lot of mass registration plates that were there from twenty to twenty nine days, but we couldn't cite them because they didn't meet that thirty day threshold. Right. Children that are registering from now on, um, I think we have kids that are going to school living in these apartments. And if the parents have to register their car in order to pick them up, but another way, maybe the school system. Because it's supposed to be presented when you register your children in school. To my knowledge. And we have been issuing citations to students that are going. Um, so like, let's say Brian, we know a lot of students there live at 10 Railroad, and they have received those citations for their vehicles there 30 more days. I've personally spoke to some of them because I've conducted some of the stops. Is there a state rule on that? That's the difference of the students? Uh, the statute that we're speaking of, the Odyssey of Reg, only applies to military. Students okay. aren't in that statute. Um, but that doesn't mean a judge might not take that into consideration when it goes to court. Okay. It's just I, know the, uh, I know that uh, uh, Officer Conti, I know you're not a legal expert, but if it were to go to court, it would go to our local municipal court, I believe, because it would be... It was Rhode Island Tribunal. Okay, so it wouldn't go to our... our okay. Um, okay. But so just... Sorry, sorry, go uh, 17, you have a court date of February 7th, um, so we could have outcomes for you. Uh, possibly at the next council meeting. Uh, so I, so I'm understanding the process. So for 30 consecutive nights or days or something, what doesn't have to be consecutive. It doesn't have to be. <coughs> we conducted a, a 41 day check. I think the minimum was 40. Yep. And out of that 40, 30, they don't have to be consecutive. Um, so just 30 of the 40 days. Most exciting, but it wouldn't get revenue. Well, it's, it's a lot of revenue. It's a lot of revenue. Any other comments? Thank you, Officer Condi. Can you just get a copy of that report and sound for the record, please? Thank you. We'll go back for the regular agenda. Thank you. Um, Discussion by council vote or other action on litigation pertaining to Rockford Farm LLC versus Farmhouse Newfield case number. PC 2017-0962. I'd entertain a motion to authorize the administrator to sign the agreement dated January 25th, 2019. So a motion by Mrs. Lewinsky. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Bondioli. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Mrs. Bondioli? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Ogier? Yes. Mrs. Lewinsky? Yes. Mrs. Bernay? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> <All set. coughs>